Okay, beautiful things. Welcome back. We're going to work on our photo album, ball journal. You're going to need construction paper, cardstock, and fall colors to match your journal. And you're going to have to fit it in here, like so. Then you're going to have to cut off the edges so they fit. And here's the edges I cut off. Keep those because we might use them for something else. Then we're going to take the cardstock. It's got five colors. And we're going to tape them together. Okay, so I'm going to have to turn the camera this way. There we go. Line up the colors that you want. You can mix them up if you want. If you don't want to mix them up, you don't have to. You can keep them all one color. But I'm going to mix them up a bit. All right. See so these two. That's what you're going to do. We're going to tape them together. Okay. I'm going to be adjusting the camera so you can All right, and then we're gonna have them folded like so. Make sure the tape's nice on. But this is what we'll be doing. We'll be putting stuff like this on them to hide that tape, okay? And these will be in our journal. Like so, let me show you. There's a bunch of different pages. Right. And they fit nicely in there. Let's see. Like so. But they're gonna be put inside of each other with different cardstock. Cause I got these two. Just take 12 by 12 cardstock, fold it over, and boom, another page. Okay. Just make sure it's even. This I have to trim this off. Show you. Should still fit in there if I hide that. Make sure it's lined up. Just bend it over. After we decorate all these, we'll be putting them inside each other like this. So And they'll make them longer too in the album. Right? See how summer coming all the way to the edge. Alright. So you gotta keep that in mind too. Alright. But grab all your card stock that you want to use. Different colors. And if you have thick card stock that's already got Images on it that you like, use that. You don't have to use cardstock. But I like decorating and I want a bunch of different colors. I have cardstock and construction paper and thick colored cardstock, so I'm going to be using all of these. And these will be your pages. Okay? Okay, beautiful beings. I think I know how to put the camera so you can see when you're not upside down. I am going to stabilize this only because they're going to be poked with three ho ho holes to be put in a journal. Because you're going to be gluing this with a glue stick on. And you want to hide this part right here. So if you need to trim them just a little bit, you can. Okay, I'm going to 
Okay, that part, now I want to show you what else you can use. Holder. Or in your journal. I'm making a photo album, so you might not want to do all this, but that's what I'm going to be making. A photo album. That's why I'm using heavier cardstock and folders. I have a folder here. Okay. This is going in the journal. So I'm going to have to trim it. You see how I got it lined against the back of the book? And then I'm going to make sure it's right. And then I'm going to put it in more. Probably half an inch, like so. I'm going to mark that there. See that? Okay. Then I'm going to cut it off. I think it's too long, too. I didn't even check that. Yeah, it is. So I'm going to have to cut the length, too. Okay. I'm going to have to cut the top off first so it fits in my cutter. So I'm going to put this in here. And I'm going to make sure it's up. Just a tiny bit. And then down. Now if I turn it, yeah, this way. I'm just making sure you can see. I'm going to have it up on this end. Just a little bit. So I'm going to want it down on this end. So it doesn't go longer than a journal. I'm going to mark it right there. Okay? You can see that, right? I marked it in. So it's in. And then the bottom. Make sure that bottom's in for the length of the journal. Okay, now we're going to cut. So now we're going to measure this and mark it. So you know, it fits in there length wise. I hope this don't go upside down again. Okay, the length size fits in there. Okay, it's just so big it's hard to show you. This fits in there perfectly lengthwise. There's the top, there's the bottom. Okay. Now we're gonna cut this edge off. So I'm gonna make sure it's against the binder. So see. I have it against that. Alright, it's against the Right. Anyway, I'm going to come in this much, I think, for this. So we're going to cut that off. Well, as you can't really see what I'm doing, I'm trying my best. And trying not to make it so you're upside down. Oh. So I'm going to put this in my cutter where that line is. Line it up. And then so, all right, then we're going to take this, trace it on here, line it up perfectly. There you got that. Look, I'll be putting ribbon after I decorate this, whatever I choose. I will, you can either glue or sew the ribbon. When I didn't have a sewing machine, I used to sew the ribbon. This is just an example. Like say this piece fits in there. I always go to the edge and then go to the edge and I would cut it right there. Then I would just hand sew them in on both sides. I'd go through and sew it on. It just gives it a little pop. All right now, we have a shorter one to do. Right here. So we're gonna do this one. 
Make sure you keep all these scraps because you can use them for other things. Okay, belly band, um, the edge of something, you can use them. I'll try to implement that in to show you. And we're gonna do the same thing with this one. Right. This one we don't have to worry about the top and the bottom. I think this way you're not upside down. I'm hoping. I'll have to look at it after this segment. Right. This one, see, it's inside on the top. And it's inside on the bottom, so we don't have to worry about it. All we have to focus on is this. So we're going to do the same thing. And I'm not going to talk because I'm going to speed this part up. Hey, beautiful beings, we're gonna try this, this different position, and hopefully you can see everything. So what we're gonna do is take the piece of paper that you want to use, fold it in half, because we're gonna glue a piece here, and then we're gonna glue a piece on the back, like so. Wherever you want, you can put it down in the corner, you can put it up in the corner, you can put it up here, here, or you can put it in the middle, wherever you want. But I did want to go around the edges. If you have any of these scissors, you can use these. If not, you can just make the shape yourself. And I just wanted to go around the corners with it, like so. And I'm going to do this on all the sides. Just to give it a little You, know, you always gotta keep in mind where you're gonna put it like a corner pocket or a belly band or an embellishment like in the corners or a pocket for the full corner. You just gotta keep all that in mind when you're doing this too. But I like this because there's green in it and it makes it pop. So I'm probably just gonna put this in the middle I'm going to mark it and then cut it with my cutter. Then I'll have to cut this stragglers off and away from the paper. Make sure that's lined up. Now, before I did all this, <laughs> it was paper, roller, all the way. And a pencil before I got a cutter. <laughs> so I've been there, done that. At least I know what it is. Didn't cut it very good and I didn't want to rip it, so we're going to do it with the scissors. There we go. Then different design if you have these scissors. 
I'm sure you can get them online. I got like 20 different designs and I don't know where you get it from. But these are made from Edder Office products. They were a Christmas present from my son and his wife one Christmas. You know, best Christmas present ever for a crafter is when you get stuff with your crafts. Some of them cut good, some of them don't, but I'm not that picky, so. Plus this paper is like printer paper. It's thin. There we go. And then we'll just do it again. Don't work, that's fine. A little torn. Look, it's fine. All right, now we're gonna go this. And I think I'm going all the way down again. Unless I go up. Maybe we'll put a pocket across here this time. Because this one, I'm going to put a side pocket here. A long one. A long one. It's like a belly button, but it's going to be a side pocket, but a long one. So I think I'm going to take this and put it up towards the top. So we're going to put this so I can get to it without blocking it. The view and I'm gonna start the edges and we can do this here because it's gonna cover that yeah it's really good to have a scrap piece of paper even mail like if you got mail you can recycle it by doing this <laughs> using it as a glue putter on her <laughs> it helps recycle the mail too And we're gonna do the middle. I've done that. I've used junk mill. Put my glue, used to put my glue, put this on and then put my glue on. I don't have to worry about getting on anything else when I do the edges. Just a little hint thing. Not a hint thing, but you know what I'm saying. Not the top, see? Always look at the other side. That's the wrong. All right, so I want this at the top, so I'm gonna come up here, make sure it's lined up in the middle, and it's on both sides. Voila. I hope you've seen that. I'm probably out of focus. All right. And then I'll show you how to put like ribbon on and other things. Okay. So I got this. Nothing in the middle. I gotta figure out what I'm gonna put in the middle in this on the back. And then we got what's the other one we did. Hmm. Right here. This one, which we could probably fold now. Yep. Let's see. You get little bubbles once in a while too. That's why you gotta keep pushing. I would have kept pushing, but can you see that? I couldn't because I didn't want you guys to wait. See that little bubble right there? But it's okay. All right? Now, and I did put the music on, right? I didn't remember to check that. But the music is right, I believe. Yes, it's right. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, beautiful beings. I think I found an angle that will work. As long as I don't kick it with my leg. The tripod. All right, these I cut down. This one I used be scissors for the edge and then this one I used the zigzag for the edge and I just cut our piece of paper in half put one here put one there and then I took some <laughs> distressed ink 
this vintage photo and I just inked up the edges, okay? If you don't have ink, you can use marker. Just set the marker down, take the marker and do the edges like this and it works. Okay, now we're gonna go that and I did get a scrap piece of paper to do that with. I don't have to worry about getting it on my project. Just a scrap piece of mail will work. Right at the top, so I'm going to turn it upside down. And I want it in the middle, of course. In the middle. Like so. And then any extra glue, just wipe off. Always make sure you have a napkin to wipe off. Down. I take that down because I don't want it to get on the edges. There we go. And it looks like that. Now, <clears throat> it's not even straight. Uh, it's not straight. That's okay. I'm not really picky, and this is hard to do on video, especially when you got a tripod in your way. Okay, I got this, and I got it from Dollar Tree. I don't know if I can find the one I had. Of course not. It should be here. It should be right in here, but it's not. It's on a thing like this, and you can get it from Dollar Tree, okay? Wired edge ribbon. I just took that and I took the wire out. So now we're going to take it out of this side like this. Just pull the wire out, save it for beads or something, or you can just throw it away. Alright, and then I took this piece that I also got from Dollar Tree and I sewed them together on a sewing machine. Okay. If you don't want to sew them together, you can glue them. Or you can sew them together by hand. I used to do all that before I had a sewing machine. But we're going to glue this down here on the edges. I'm going to glue. And we're going to use Elena's tacky glue. And I just want to make sure it's up the edge like this. The same amount there. And I am going to sew this down too. Again, if you don't have a sewing machine, you can just sew it by hand. It really doesn't take that long. Just do a small stitch. I just want enough to hold it down so when, after I sew it. You want to make sure it's even down here and over there. Both sides. Perfect. And take a napkin and wipe the tape off. That's pretty much just to hold it in place so when I sew. When I sew it, I'm going to sew it in the middle too. That way you have places for pictures to tuck in the picture. Right, and then I'm gonna add some of this. This is from Dollar Tree. And this, I'm gonna put this on the gold. And that's from Crafter Square. Floral Garden, it's from Floral Garden, but it's from Dollar Tree. All right, so I'm gonna just take a little bit of glue. I keep checking to make sure you, you can see me. <laughs> I'm just gonna take a little bit of glue and put it alongside this just a little bit just so I know it will stick and stay so make sure you get it all through and take your pearls
Wow, I can't lean over. <laughs> I cannot lean over because my head will be in the way of your view. Right, so we're gonna pick it up. Pick it up. And we're gonna make sure it's on the glue. So pushed up to the edge and even all the way through. down over here and it should be good don't push just tap so you don't ooze the glue out this piece of fuzz right there I don't want that glued in there all right you get the idea I'm gonna do the other one the other one and we're going to put this along the seam of where I sewed to cover that up. Okay. Keep pushing those ends down to make sure they're gluing down. Of course wipe on the table. Right. I'm going to put the gold one down along that one. So again I'm just going to put a little bit of glue all the way through on the sewing seam. And we're gonna stick that down. Get it close up. Let's put the glue on the sewing seam. Making sure these don't flip over all the way down, like so. <clears throat> and I did make sure I had extra, just one extra, just in case. I'm gonna push it down. And there's a close up. Okay. Right. Now these, we're going to make an embellishment for up there to stick a photo on both sides. Okay. So we're going to get our Elena's glue and wipe the fingers and that can, and we're just going to stick that down. Doesn't have to be perfect. You just want it glued to the cardboard. I took this paint and this paint, which I really don't care for. I really don't use this. This is for my grandkids. It's from Dollar Tree and it's more liquid than your regular. Maddie, acrylic paint that you get from Walmart. This dries way faster. This takes forever to dry. <laughs> Just so you know that. <clears throat> Even if you put it on thin. But I took all those three paints, as you can see, and mixed them in there together. And I also did that on this one, too. Okay. Just a piece of cardboard. This is from a Kleenex box. Okay, that's what I used. All right. Let's finish gluing this down. We'll keep pushing down to make sure it sticks really good. And then when it's dry, we'll cut around the cardboard. Okay. All right, moving on to the next one. I probably just lost my pattern here. I pretty much think I got it. I 
think I'm going to, I don't know. But on the last one, this is what I did. All I did was go like this. I lined it up. Then I cut it. Then I flipped it again. And I took another piece. Like this. And I just made a knot to hold it together. Like so. You can pull it up or down wherever you want it. And then cut the extra piece off and cut the loops. Okay? Alright. I kind of want that there. And I want to go and crisscross every other way. All the way down. I might turn one upside down. Tuck that one in. Put that one at the end. See? And I'm going to incorporate this somewhere. Maybe there. I don't know. Hmm. Well, let's get it glued down so I can figure that out. I forgot what I was doing now. Oh, and make sure you got the right side, because see, this one's shinier, and that one's duller. I just want to line to the tips so it stays down. Okay. I'm going to put this that way, like so. Then we're going to do the yellow one, make sure it's going the right way. I don't like it. Alright, and my nose are dry. And I got this sewed up. We'll be right back. whatever you want like so and I'll probably finish it off camera but I am gonna go this down clean up this mess so you're gonna have to watch your ink down the back. But I want this right at the top, almost centered in the middle. And that's what that looks like. And I'll be back after I ink the other one. Okay. It's all cut out, it's all inked around the sides. And I wanted to show you this pen. I got this from Dollar Tree. I think these ones come by themselves. But what I did is I took this and made the veins for the leaf. Okay? Just wanted to show you that. I did it here too. And I did the same thing on that one. No, I didn't. I didn't do any of those. Sorry. But I'm going to set this down. And I'm going to put it. I already got the glue on it. And we're going to set it, hopefully, in the middle, like so. And that will be a little belly band. Not a little, wide belly band. Or leaf belly band. I'm going to go over a little bit. There we go. Okay. Then, 
I want to put this down. I think this is the right one. I got these all cut out for the certain things, but does that one fit that? Yes. So I'm gonna move that over. I'm gonna turn it sideways because it's easier for me. This tripod thing going on. I just got glue all over my hand. All right, I'm gonna take this and just put it right on the edge of this. So, to cover up that edge, and after this is glued down, I'll show you what I did on the other side. I'm taking this, and I got this from Dollar Tree, too. Came in a set of two different kinds. Well, there's a set of three, but I think two of them are this, and then there's a, the, a different kind. And this is, and you gotta watch it, because it doesn't like to stay, stay straight. So, I might have to bend it to your liking and I just want it to be a little bit off the edge just a tiny bit okay and there's that all the way up over okay and then I forgot to tell you too the bottom I sewed this too so if you want to glue that down you have to glue it down Basically, so when your pictures pictures go in, that way they don't fall through. But I forgot to tell you to glue this part down or sew it down, whatever you would like to do. And another suggestion, I was doing it for sake of video, but sew, sew this down, sew this down, sew that down, and this down before you put your beads on, okay? I didn't really have a problem, but I didn't let them glue and some of them moved, but I moved them right back. It'd, be, it'd just be easier that way. We're gonna have to wait for this to dry before we go to the next step. But that's what I did on this side. And I made a pocket here and a pocket here on this side for that. I was just trying to keep the same theme through each page so I don't run out of different materials. So I'm just trying to cooperate them all in the same page because we need a lot of pockets 